Colby, is my girlfriend in there? Come on, bro. I can literally hear cake up in there. What, what is freaking going on? Cake up! Take my brother's hoodie off! Bro, she looks good! That's my best friend. And he just said that my girlfriend looks good in his hoodie. And if you're wondering how this is appropriate and how we got to this moment, well, it isn't, and it all started. Hey, what's up guys? It's K-Cup, Noah's girlfriend, and I just stole Noah's camera. I wanna make today's vlog so much more fun, more fun than Noah could ever expect. So the reason why Noah's filming today is actually so cool. We had a few meetings in LA, and one of the TV networks might be picking us up to do a reality TV show, so Noah's sending in a few tester videos and kind of just showing days in our life to see what it would actually be like on the TV show. So today I'm doing the prank wearing another guy's hoodie to see Noah's reaction and to see if he gets jealous. I really hope he does, but I never know with him. I'm gonna go into Colby's room and ask him for a hoodie and see what he says, but also try to get him in on the prank. Sometimes he kind of leans on Noah's side, but hopefully he'll lean on my side. We'll just have to see what he says. Colby. Okay, I'm filming right now. Awesome, the camera. Okay. Right, through. Where, what? Where's Noah? I'm doing, he's getting ready right now. Oh, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> this camera is so heavy, I don't know what I'm filming, honestly. Okay. Okay, I am going to be pranking Noah today. Alright. And I need you to swear to secrecy, pinky promise, that you're not going to tell him this Do time. Do I ever tell Noah anything? Yes, every single okay. time you ruin my stupid <laughs> prank. Okay, there, there we go. You don't have to kiss it. Okay. That's what me and Noah do. So. <laughs> okay, so the prank is, I need to borrow one of your hoodies. Okay, Please, why? let me borrow one of your hoodies. I want to make Noah jealous by me wearing one of your hoodies and hopefully you'll notice that it's another guy's. Not you, hopefully not. Yeah, just take the blue one. Oh yeah, I've never seen you wear this thing. I wear it all the time. Okay, I'll bring it back. I won't spill anything. He's gonna know it's mine. spilling things. What? He's gonna know it's mine though. No, he's not. I really don't think he will. I think he's kind of taking my hanger. Slow. Oh, no, you can have your hanger. All right. Okay, let's go try this one. Leave the dog. Bye, Roars. Guys, I don't know why I'm doing this vlog. I must really love Noah because I have to put this stupid, stupid, stupid sweatshirt on. I look like Colby. I think Noah's still in his room getting ready. He should be out of the shower, but he takes a really long shower, so who knows. Anyways, that's besides the point. I'm gonna go put his camera back in the same exact spot I found it, so he has no idea I've been filming, and I'm just gonna try to either grab my phone or my camera throughout the day and get his reaction. Also, one other concern is Noah hasn't even seen me today, so I'm afraid that he'll just think that this is my sweatshirt, but I have some tricks up my sleeve just in case he doesn't notice, but I feel like this sweatshirt is so big that he might be like, what is this outfit? Because I usually try to dress like super cute and girly. All right, let's go put the camera on. Hey, what's up? My name is Noah Shinaki, and today we are going around. I'm showing you a day in the life. Really excited about the opportunity to show you guys exactly what we do, a day in the life. And I think there's no better place to start than with my girlfriend and going to Paloma, her favorite coffee shop. So I went to the gym this morning, I took a shower, and I'm going downstairs to grab her, and we're gonna hop in the car and head over. So this is our kitchen, and right over here is my lovely girlfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing- The one and the only, the K We've been officially dating for almost officially two years. She's been in my life for about three, and she's three been and in my half, vlogs for about actually. three. Wow. But the coolest thing is, is where we're about to take you is where we actually, like our whole love story is written around. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then also, we're in for a special treat because my grandparents dropped off their T-bird at my house today. So I asked them if we could take it to uh, Paloma. I'm so excited. Let's go. Guys, we have definitely failed this portion of the vlog. He has absolutely no idea I have any boy sweatshirt on. He does not care. He has not said anything. He very much says I look fashionable in this hoodie. So we are going to have to step it up a notch and pull out the big boy. I brought cologne. It is Colby's and I don't even know what it smells like. It smells like a boy. I don't want to spray too much because I just want him to think that this is a boy's hoodie and for him to be a little bit sus. So hopefully it works out. So we're going to get two caramel lattes. One is going to be like a normal size, 16 ounce ice, normal with oat milk. And the other one is going to be an oat milk caramel latte, but like the smallest size that ever existed, like 12 ounces. Anything else for you? Um, you guys still have no fake bars, They're man. Gone forever. 
Okay guys, he's walking over. I put my hair up because I am so hot in this hoodie and I just want to take it off. Yo, bro. Yay! They no fake bars? bars. Oh, really? Did you ask? Yeah, I asked. And I did take a sip of yours, don't get mad, because I had to make sure that the proportions were right. Let Better. me try yours. Be jealous. I want you to be jealous. Oh wait, that's actually really good. I know. Wow. Does this car smell funny? I turned it off because it started overheating. No, not like that. Like my grandpa like must have like went out on a date or in it or something. It's not a lot, but like if you smell like like a boy. Yeah. But I don't know where it's coming from. Anyways, I think you should tell them what you told me when we turned off the camera about like you've been listening to your podcast and like what you learned from that and stuff like that. Cause okay. like I think that that's so cool. So this past season of life, I've had a really hard time. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I've been struggling with identity and knowing like who I am. And I've just been struggling. I haven't really been live and on TikTok and on stuff. Yeah. And one of the biggest things is me and Noah like started going through a little bit of a bumpy road for a second. I've been trying to listen back to podcasts and I love reading the Bible, but I also love like sometimes I just like to put on a quick podcast that's just like a mindset reset. He was seeing how his friend had just gone to jail and he had really had to hit rock bottom to realize and like wake up and like realize that oh my gosh what did I just do like, I wish I did this this and this and then the guy was saying how you could read all these self-help books and this is all these podcasts but the real growth and the real learning is when you're actually in that experience like, like actually getting in the game yeah getting in the game and you know working through your fights or working through your anxiety depression or whatever and really fighting it and I just thought that was really interesting because sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I just wasted the last week because I was in a really bad mindset, but... Why does that smell like that? I knew that was coming from somewhere. Like, what the frick? This smells like that? Yes. Like strong. Like heavy. Oh, I don't know. That's so weird. Is that like your new cologne or new perfume or whatever? No. Honestly, it's not. I don't really know where that came from. Where did you buy this? I don't know. Like, Abercr I don't know where... I don't know. Maybe um, your grandpa like had it spilled and I like sat in it or something? No. I took this off for a second because it was really hot, so. Oh, maybe. maybe. So I think what Kacob's trying to say, how sometimes like when you need an adjustment in life, at first you feel it, just like a slight impression, but then like circumstances will happen. And you ignore it. You ignore it and then eventually it gets to the point where it's like, there's a, a big life decision that you have to make. Like, sometimes even like God will be like, kind of like tell you and you read something in your Bible and you're like, yeah, yeah, I should be doing that. And then you forget. And then something bigger will happen and you're like, oh my gosh, what if I had just taken that advice that I had read in the Bible and actually apply that to my life? Like, I probably wouldn't have ended up here. It's like you have to really listen to those impressions. And the guy, he was like, first it starts in just like a little like feather on your face, trying to like wake you up. And then you don't do anything. And then it's a rock. But actually, and then it's like something really bad happens. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I need to wake up. And like, what if we didn't get to that? Oh my gosh, I didn't wake up. That's like the same thing with people who have heart attacks. And I was like, wow, if I only had really listened to myself and I said I shouldn't eat bad for the last 40 years. That actually coexists with what the Bible says so clearly. It says that God will come like a whisper and then he'll come like a lion. A lot of times God will give you that impression on your heart that you're supposed to do something, whether it's like a dream or to let someone go or a healthy relationship, a bad relationship. If you don't listen to that, a lot of times God will come again as the lion and like actually get your attention. But a lot of times when the lion comes, you know, it's not as easy and it causes a lot of unwarranted, unnecessary turmoil and chaos. And like the thing is the worst ever would be when your entire life was over and you realize you never even did what you were called to do. So I don't know if that speaks to anybody, but it really left an impression on me when she was sharing it with me today. I just think maybe somebody needed to hear that. I love that. And you need to take that hoodie off, bro. That is, I don't know what you sat that in. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I bro, really have no that idea. literally smells horrible. I hope this car starts up. Here we go. Oh, I had to turn it off. It started shaking, like literally so bad. And like the uh, thing said on hot. Uh, let's see. So I thought maybe that's what you thought smelled. Okay, here we go. I think it's dead. You're just joking. I'm not, I'm not promise. kidding. I promise. That's why I left it on cake up. <sighs> I think it's dead guys. No, it's not. I promise. It's dead. That was my fault. Yeah. It started shaking so bad, Noah. Bro. <laughs> it started going like this, overheating so bad. What am I supposed to do? We'll see you guys in a second when our car works again. 
guys. Oh my gosh. After literally like four hours, we are back on the road again. I'm really hot and. Yeah, we already knew that though. Yeah, you know what I mean? We're raising the roof up. Let's here. go back to about I'm an so hour. I'm so hot that I broke down the car. Oh. Holy crap, dude. This was, <laughs> this was quite a day. Let's get back home. Let's eat a little food. We'll okay. see y'all at home. See you home. Here's the thing guys, I'm a little bummed out at how today went. Noah did not notice at all. I mean, he had like a few little, mm, but not really. So I have one last ditch effort that I am going to try to make. Kobe right now is cooking us some shrimp. And I think the only way I can get Noah to freak out about this is if I literally have Kobe say that I look good or something along the lines in his hoodie. Oh, Kobe. We're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to pull this in. Before Noah comes back downstairs, yeah. can you help me with something? What did he say? He didn't even notice oh, didn't. at all. <laughs> like barely ever. Because you have to wear something that I actually wear, otherwise you think that's yours. Yeah, I know. Okay. Like, but I mean, it's a little. Style case. It's a little oversized. Okay, whatever. Can you please do me the biggest favor ever? Okay, I'm already making you food. Okay, one, one more, one more, one more thing. Okay. I want you to say, "Wow, K Cup, you look so good in that sweatshirt." In my you sweatshirt. Don't. You don't actually want me to say that. I need Noah to freak out. Hey God, like It's I, Noah. He's going to kill me. Listen, we are trying to film this great vlog to show the reality TV we? people. <laughs> you too. You are involved. You would be on the No, you're too. throwing me under the bus is I what you're want, doing. I want you to be a main character in this show. Like, you know okay. Noah will freak okay. out. I'll yes. do it. I kind of want to see Noah squirm. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to set the camera up somewhere hidden. So while we're at lunch, Colby can say it and Noah won't feel like there's a camera on him. Hey, guys, I wanted to start a little segment called Keeping Up With Rory. Rory is our new puppy here at the house. I thought it would be fun to track with you his progress and the things that are like enhancing his life. So this is where we're at. I just taught him to sit. Here we go, Rory. Sit. You did it, you did it, oh my gosh. I have to give the credit to his intelligence and also his obedience and happiness to switching him over to the farmer's dog. I've never really been a big fan of like dry food or wet food, which is why I picked the farmer's dog. The farmer's dog makes real food that's personalized for your puppy, pre-portioned to exactly what they need. It's convenient for us dog owners and it's super fresh. Long gone are the days where you feed them these little gross smelling pellets. The farmer's dog is a perfect option if you're looking to make your dog happier and healthier. So for all my dog owners or someone who knows a dog owner, using the link in this video, you can get 50% off your first box of healthy, fresh food, plus free shipping. Your link is down below, and this has been Keeping Up With Rory. Noah! Uh, your food's ready. I feel like I should have been the one to say that, because well, I am the wife. You know you're I mean? our chef. Who made it? I mean, yeah. I did. What are you doing? <laughs> are you eating that with a fork? Why are you holding a fork? Here? I thought I was holding that with a fork. It's shrimp. So oh I my god. Him. <laughs> She's eating shrimp with a fork. Guys, I had no idea. I, really I want to see you try that. No, I, I really thought I saw Colby grab it and I didn't want to feel like all them out. Dude, me and Colby have been on a shrimp bender yes, like the last couple of days. We have it like twice a day. Yeah, have you been wearing my hoodie all day? Yeah, I actually love it. It's you look good in it. Really? Yeah. That's Aww. your hoodie? Yeah. She came to my room earlier. She was cold. Yeah, I could not find a hoodie. This is awesome. Oh, cool. That's not cool. What do you mean it's not cool? That just feels weird to me. Why would you why ask me for a hoodie? You? Why wouldn't you ask me for a hoodie? You, you never give me a hoodie anymore. So is I... that why I smell gross? <laughs> Whoa. I don't smell that. You were in the shower. She she was looking for. She was yeah, cold. you can go into my closet. It's not that big a deal. Bro, you never let me like have. Bro, that's like anymore. a guy's dream is for a girl to like. Rep you should know better. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Are you kidding? It's K cup. Bro, you're you're I, literally my best friend. You should. That is my thought process. Don't. Okay, yeah. Please enlighten me. <laughs> my thought process. process. Mm -hmm. That's like the beginning stages of a relationship. Once we've established that there's nothing, it's completely platonic. It's like you're cold. Take the money. I don't care. No. That feels, <laughs> that feels really feel weird. weird. Yeah, I don't like I that. I didn't think anything of it. Yeah, I'd rather you didn't ever do that again. She just popped in. She wanted one. I would rather you just like borrow it from my closet. Here's that's the cool. thing. You don't ever let me wear hoodies anymore. Did you say she looked good in it? <laughs> well, I don't wear it often, so it was like... Can you like leave those comments for me? <laughs> That'd be nice. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Well, you didn't compliment me in it. Well, now I'm glad I did it. Why are you laughing right now? Do you think this is funny? 
Well, I don't, you gotta admit it's a nice I'm one. I'm not trying to make I'm it awkward. I'm just saying, you didn't compliment me in it. Like, I don't want to make it awkward or anything. I just think it's like weird. It's, That's like awkward as so frick. I just feel like it's like. No, it's not okay. Okay, go. Take it off. No. Yeah, I'll go get you one. Let me, can I go get you a hoodie? Okay. Is it really that big of a deal? Yeah, no, but like take it off right now. Seriously? Yes. I'm eating. Are it. you wearing anything underneath it? Yeah. Okay, take it off. That's messed up as crap. I can't believe you let it. You let her use your hoodie. That's disgusting. <laughs> I wouldn't say disgusting. I, wouldn't I just think it's point. like a, a, a huge overstep. I would never do that to you, man. Can you just never do that again? That would be awesome. I have so many hoodies just waiting for you. You didn't say that a week ago. Yeah, because you try to take the nicest ones. But honestly, at this point, have whatever you freaking want. If it means you're not wearing another guy's hoodie, that'd be nice. And you're wearing a freaking cute outfit all day. She's wearing a cute outfit. She's covering it up with your trash. Okay. All day. It's not trash. I believe you're I like it. Keiko, it would mean me so much if you're really cold or something just to use my hoodie and then never use his again. And let's not hold on to this any longer. <laughs> Because it's well, it's yours. glad to know that now it's because before, definitely like is. I said, you wouldn't let me wear them. Thanks, still. bro. What do you mean I wouldn't let you wear it? I let you have anything. Your closet consists of all my clothes. Period. Uh, uh, Am yeah. I wrong? Uh, no. Thank no. you. Well, I'm glad we had this conversation. You want a hoodie? Yeah, go have a hoodie. Okay. Fine. I'll put a good one. I don't want to make it weird. That wasn't supposed to be weird. It's not. It's not weird. I understand. I get. It. I'm sorry. Bro. Like if I do that to you? No, I'm sorry. Well. I don't have anybody. You've been there. <laughs> you, you've been there. I get, I'm sorry, bro. Okay. No! No! I mean, wait, are you gonna say it's a joke? I'm not. I'm gonna give him a drink. You're not gonna give a joke. I can hear you talking, it's still weird. It's not a joke. Listen, you gotta listen, tell him this freaking joke. No, this He's mad at me. This plan worked. Them you tell him it's a joke. No. You tell Absolutely. him. Why would you not tell him it's a joke? Because he said I could have his hoodies for the rest of my life. But he's ticked at me. So who cares? It's just you guys get over tomorrow to watch your little show and snuggle and stuff. We don't snuggle. Yes, you do. I have Why a do you say no? You don't. Yes, I do. You do not have a picture of us snuggling. Yes, I do. Tell him it's a joke. Shh. Tell him it's a joke. Just tell him it's a joke. I want my hoodies. Quiet. Tell him it's a joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can you wear one of my hoodies too? Yeah. It sounds like you've got plenty of hoodies. The other nice one. Oh yeah, for sure. You know what I was thinking of? Tell me. You would look great in this one. <laughs> You're screwed. Okay. Too far. <laughs> Wait, that was too far. All right, well, I definitely now, don't. You would like, look great in this. <laughs> I'm good. You look better in this anyway. Just to come to a conclusion okay, here, yeah. I'd like you to know uh -huh. this was all a prank. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh. Okay. I've had your camera all day. No, and you I have not. It. I've had my camera all day. Yeah, I found it when you were in the shower, and I took it, and I filmed this whole thing, and I, I your camera asked shower. him for the hoodie. I didn't have my camera in the shower. <laughs> no, Belle, he was in the shower, and I went in his room and told him what prank I want to do, making me jealous wearing another guy's hoodie. So you didn't actually give it to her? No. Well, technically. No. You did. Well, I've been mean, technically I did for the prank. I put the camera right there on the counter. Just sitting on the counter. All right, I'll give it to you. That was a good one. I would never give Cake a hoodie. Okay, good. She doesn't deserve I didn't to wear think my hoodie. I didn't. Whoa! <laughs> yes. She so that, none of that was real. We're good. Yeah, we're good. And you'll never do that again. Okay. We're awesome. He, <laughs> almost, <laughs> he, he almost did kiss my pinky though. I did not. <laughs> Three-way shake. We're good here. Three-way shake. I'm afraid to touch your hand. You're gonna think I'm kiss your pinky. <laughs> no. Never again. Never, never again. again. Except if I have a really good prank idea. Good idea. Kobe. 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 Give me your hoodie. Give me your hoodie. Give me your hoodie. Why? I want to freak him out one more time. Hold this. Bro, I heard snickering and I know exactly what this freaking means. Colby, is my girlfriend in there? No. Come on, bro. I can literally hear cake up in there. What, what is freaking going on? Cake up! Take my brother's hoodie off. Take his hoodie off. Why? Bro, she looks good! Bro, I, she always looks good. It's not your. Don't say that about my girlfriend! Take his hoodie off right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I just had to do it one more time. Get off of his bed, bro. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I just wanted to get you one more time. I'm so sorry. Okay. Love you so much. Love you too. We're good, right? <laughs> I will talk to you later. I think you guys should have a Take it off! What are you doing? <laughs>